My name's Adam Zimmerman. I've been on tour for, well, this year is my first year on the Outlaw Tour. Um, grew up in uh, California, Missouri, Tipton, Missouri is where I'm from. Started racing, uh, helping racing, I guess, uh, I don't know, about three years ago, helping uh, Randy Martin there out of California. Um, they taught me a lot. Uh, decided, uh, wanted to pursue racing a little bit more and kind of sparked that ambition to I guess go a little further with it and reached out to Phil here at JJR. I knew Clyde and Nate were moving on to other things and and uh, got uh, hooked up with Phil here and here we are. I'm Robbie McQuinn. I'm from Springfield, Illinois. Uh, it's my first year on the road with JJR. The last two years I spent with Noah Gas on the 20G on the Outlaw Tour and before that I was with uh, Dave Mack Motorsports working on midgets for about two years. Uh, it's always kind of been a family deal. Uh, my great uncles actually own a sprint car that they ran at Springfield Speedway back in the day. And uh, they still own champ cars that they run at, you know, Springfield Mile with USAC. And, you know, my dad raced growing up, but I actually raced pavement go-karts starting out. But I'd always been interested in the dirt. And, you know, we'd go watch the midgets when they were around town. Power I was really big back in the day. Uh, around Springfield area so we'd go catch them on Friday nights, Saturday nights when we weren't racing ourselves and then when I got a little older and uh, getting a little too big for go-karts we decided to wanted to pursue racing a bigger car and uh, dirt racing kind of just is where we fell you know it was a little expensive to go pavement racing without a whole lot of pavement tracks around our area we'd have to travel a lot more and we could run a lightning sprint at the time. Now they're D2 midgets, you know, 30 miles from home every weekend, two nights a week. So it, that's where we ended up and then ended up getting into sprint cars after that. Ran a 305 at Jacksonville Speedway for two years for uh, George Crawford. And uh, I'm supposed to end up running a 410 and then COVID kind of put a stop to that. And that's where uh, I ended up going on the road and been on the road ever since. I actually ran uh, the go-kart track here at Peavely when I was uh, seven or eight years old. Uh, they had a big national race for the, it's called Kid Karts, big national race, biggest race of the year for us here for five to eight year olds. And first year we ever came down here, uh, we ran pretty good. Uh, I was actually running second in the big race, about three laps in, was the fastest kart on the track. In, uh, got taken out in one of the corners and popped my chain off and I wasn't able to finish the race. So uh, that's kind of my one story I have for Peavely. I never did get to run the big dirt track, but I did get to run the go-kart track and we were uh, pretty fast until we got drove through. Oh yeah, it'd be, it's great, you know, it's always nice to, you don't, you're away from so much throughout the year, you know, it's nice to be able to while you're away, them come out and see you, you know, because you're not home very much to see them. When you are home, you're busy, you know, getting ready for the next weekend. So it's nice to have them come out on the road and, uh, when they can, you know, and, and come hang out and, you know, just enjoy it, so. Yeah, it, it's super nice. Uh, I know a lot of guys aren't as fortunate as I am to one, have parents and family members, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, cousins, everyone that want to come to the races to, to the races in general, let alone come see them. And you know, you get on runs in Pennsylvania and Ohio and California and down in Florida and you can't, you sometimes don't see your family for three, four months at a time. And it's, it's really awesome to see familiar faces and uh, get, to, get to see them again and catch up. And uh, it's, it's just, it's really cool. Uh, my parents come almost every time we're within you know, four to five hours of Springfield, and especially Peavely, they like coming down here, they bring their camper down and they cook us meals. My dad made us some pulled pork for this weekend and the guys loved it. And uh, my sister and her boyfriend came along this time, which was really cool for them to still come and support me, even though I'm not racing. And for them to still have a love for the sport like I do and come and want to hang out and be a part of it is uh, pretty cool and special. I'll start checking over the bars and changing bars if we need to, pulling them out, re-greasing them. 
and then uh, running a bolt check around the car, make sure everything's still tight and ready to go. And then Phil will get the uh, engine all tuned up and ready to go. And Adam will get his tires knocked out. And well, we all kind of work as a team. And if someone needs help, we'll jump in here or there. And uh, after that's ready, you know, we'll engine heat and engine heat you go, make sure you don't have any problems and uh, get some heat in the motor. Just kind of get ready for the night and then hot laps will go out there and hopefully we're top of the boards like we were last night and you don't really have to change much but if you uh, see what something you don't really like in your car your lap times might be a little off you can change a gear a bar or two or nothing crazy because you don't have a whole, huge amount of time but uh, and then when you roll into qualifying you just it's really up to Carson at that point you know the we do all we can with the car you only get three laps to look at it and watch it and Philip will make some changes if he needs to, but it's all up to Carson to just drive it as hard as he can and get every hundredth out of the car that he can. And Carson does a really good job qualifying. Start in on my tires, you know, see what all I need and what all I burned up from the night before. And um, got pretty lucky last night, didn't chew up tires too bad, but still had to mount a few up for the night. And, um, just uh, do all that. And, I kind of wait to see on like the grooving and stuff like that, see how the track's going to do, see what we want to do to tires as we go. And, um, I don't know, yeah, that's about it. Just kind of get ready and just kind of keep things tidy, I guess, waiting while they're working on the car. I'm just like getting my trailer, getting the trailer cleaned up nice and getting tires ready, checking all my staggers, getting air pressure right, all that stuff. Just being prepared as I can for the night. Carson will usually be watching the heat races on Dirt Vision to see uh, if there's any trends that are happening out there that he might need to be aware of. And then uh, if the dash, or if the heat goes good, we on in the top two, we'll be in the dash. And uh, dash is really crucial to be in because not only do you get to start in the first four rows, which is very big in wing sprint car racing, you get another shot at the track before your feature. For the feature, you just say a little prayer and you got 30 to 40 laps to get it done, you know. Phillip's got one more shot at the car and Carson's got 30, 40 laps to try to do something with it. And I feel like we have a really good team right now and we've been really consistent and uh, hopefully we can just find that little more we need to start clicking off some wins.